And so you all, as authors, should see yourself as controller of the assets you create. That's kind of the idea behind it in that way. And so what this has also led to the trend of is author as owner. You own the rights of those sorts of things. So as we've seen this in music, as we've seen this in sports, now we have the same opportunities in other places. Amazon is the biggest reason we have that one in books. So now today, Amazon's responsible for more than 50% of books that are sold which is a crazy number. 50% of books that are sold are sold via Amazon um, and other, other platforms. And so what that does for us in some ways is that it essentially allows you now to be able to distribute your book directly to bookstores or directly through Amazon. So you now no longer need that middleman uh, in the middle of it. So again, you could get your book placed in a bookstore now, again, assuming it's high quality, or no matter what, you can get it placed directly on Amazon. Now, the one challenge is you still have to make a great book, again, for your own reputation, these sorts of things. But the important thing to know now is that that sort of distribution sort of hurdle has gone away. So traditional publishers will own the rights to it. And again, because they're making this economic swap, they're going to invest up front and take the returns downstream. Whereas today, you as an author can take control of your destiny. However, there are some changes that happen to the way you have to think about yourself. Key thing to know is that we're seeing this generally throughout the field of all creation, sort of all creators, whether it's in music, whether it's in film, television, now also in books, is that you can have control, but you have to rethink about it slightly differently. So again, I share all this with you just understand of what you're going into because this is as entrepreneurial as a field as anything. You are the owner of your work in that regard. So key thing to know, these are the things that traditional publishers do. We tell you if the book will be any good. So we have the sort of the entry point. We produce the book. We are the ones in charge of it and those things. We cover the costs up front. We'll pay you a little bit on the back end. And then we can't promise distribution, though. Remember, now that there's 50% of books are out there from other places, now you might not be able to get the distribution that you hope for and once again. Now, what author as owner happens is that we're shifting to this thing, is that, well, why can't I find people who can tell me if this book is good or not? Editors, early readers, and things like that. So now the expertise shifts. I can produce and find my own cover designers and editors and layouts. I can sort of, again, play that role in that one. I can wind up doing the resources. You could pre-sell your book or you could fund that sort of cost as costs have gone down. And lastly, you can do distribution. You can, again, distribute it directly on Amazon or you can distribute it directly through your own market, whoever you may be.